Hello everybody, Joel here with No Load Time. Just doing a quick jump in to just talk about Tampa Bay Comic Book Convention. Yesterday, I was out there and I just want to say a special shout out to the convention. Thank you for having us out there as press members uh, to cover the convention. They've been extremely wonderful and very kind to our show and we're really appreciative of that, their uh, communication and their um, uh, they're just, just hospitality and just overall been a great experience. So glad to be there. Looking forward to be there again next time. Uh, I was, I went this year uh, on Saturday schedule, uh, permitting was, was the, the one day that I could attend. And it's, if you're watching this right now and it's Sunday, it's still going on right now. If you're in the Tampa area, you can still get out there and, and enjoy today, the last day of the convention. But, oh my goodness. Um, the, the convention has grown, um, from when I went just a year ago, you know, when I went last year, there was the, uh, the writers and the actor strike going on and they were still able to find a way to bring in talent and have them discuss things in an ambiguous way without um, breaking any of the SAG actor rules, which I thought was really, really uh, awesome at that time. And, and and what they did this year, obviously being able to be really back to uh, a, the, the normal form of a convention, um, you know, with, with everything going on, um, they were able to bring in some big talent. Uh, I, for Saturday when I went, I was able to to listen to panels from Billy D. Williams, from who played Lando at Star Wars, done a lot of other great work. Um, also got to hear from Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio uh, from Daredevil and the upcoming Daredevil Born Again series coming. So excited for that. And then also got to hear from uh, Elijah Wood and Andy Serkis for uh, from Lord of the Rings and and the upcoming The Hunt for Gollum. Talked about a little bit too. It was just a really fun time. Being out there, there's a bunch of uh, cool items that, of course, always being sold on the show floor. Um, the NASA pop up, really, really fun. Enjoyed that area. Um, they had some uh, some arcade games as well at the convention. I don't remember them having that last year, so I thought that was a nice little added touch, including gaming a little bit more. Um, you know, th there's just so many little activities that they started to grow. I feel like I added on to it and really just blow it out and. You know, I think <laughs> in a great, great kind way, they're going to need to find a way to um, somehow expand because the demand is definitely there uh, for each of the, for the, the Charlie Constant Vincent D'Onofrio and for the, um, uh, for the Lord of the Rings panel with Elijah Wood and Andy Serkis, they had to turn people away. I, for the, the Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio, even though I'm a press member, there was no um, reserved seating for us. We, we were in general admission like everybody else. And uh, I was literally um, the one person in my crew that was able to actually make it in. They, they squeezed me in the one open seat where they could just to make it in, which was um, really, really kind of them. But just shows, again, the demand is really there. People are really enjoying it. And, and with the Elijah Wood uh, um, and Andy Circus panel, you know, we waited for uh, a little over a half an hour and were some of the last people let in um, as well for that one, literally in the back of the room. So, uh, again, the demand is just there. It's great to see that. Love to see that. Um, that's a, it's a good problem. <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, I, I think uh, so just talking about some of the content that was out there, you know, um, specifically, if you go on our channel, you see I put a couple shorts out there just to give you little snippets of some of the discussions going on. Uh, really cool, like story time from like Charlie Cox, for example, talking about Spider Man uh, No Way Home. Now that that project's been wrapped, and uh, some behind the scenes stories about it, how him and Andrew Garfield are really good friends, and how they were texting and 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 you know saying, "Hey, I know you." I you, Charlie Cox texted Andrew Garfield saying, hey, "I know we're going to be in a project together uh, coming up, according to the trades, uh, something along those lines." And, and Garfield was like, "Well, that's not true because I, I, I or I'm working on Spider Man. I don't know if it's the same project." And he's like, "No, I'm I'm in Spider Man also." Uh, and so you know they they I guess they went out to dinner um, one of the days when they were at the set. And uh, when they went out to dinner together, they said, wait a second, this is probably not a good look for us to be in public scene eating dinner. We don't want it to spoil us being in the project and being there in Atlanta. And so they said that they literally went into a booth where they both were sitting directly next to each other, facing the wall. So that way everyone coming would always see from behind and not even looking at each other, just like, hey, how are you doing? Hey, it was the funniest, funny story. Really, really uh, good. But, you know, just seeing the, the commitment, right, to um, keeping those surprises and keeping those projects. Uh, really excited for those big aha moments that you got in the theater. Um, and, you know, just, just other, other, you know, talking about, Vincent talked about how much, you know, working with Disney has been a pleasure and how um, specifically, you know, 
they know that there were some major changes that had to have been made from where they started with the project to where they are now. And, you know, we've talked about on the podcast, how allegedly they've had to reshoot a lot of that film or a lot of that series um, pretty much from scratch at one point just because it wasn't right, wasn't something that they felt the fans would really enjoy. And um, that they said that, you know, they were shocked and not shocked, but they were really um, just amazed at how uh, Disney allowed them to actually go and do that full uh, reshoot. And I think it's just a sign of them being more cognizant of you got to give fans what they want uh, and, and make sure that you're not just doing a story that, you know, is, is using characters to get people to watch, but using characters the way people, the way people want to see these characters. They want to see these this adaptation of the Born Again comic. And um, that's really, I think, good for, for fans to hear and, and, a, and a panel like that just really um, you know, hearing that was really awesome. Um, just a quick touching points, and then also talking about with the Lord of the Rings panel, um, you know, with Elijah Wood and Andy Serkis. Always nice to hear people talk really well about, you know, some projects they worked on a long time ago. Uh, Andy Serkis was really cool because he was talking about a little bit about his upcoming project, The Hunt for Gollum, and how he's, he's jumping back into it. And one of the, the people that asked the question, she was a teacher, she was from Kenya, and she was saying how, like, it was really, like, uh, valuable to her that to, to see these these characters really continue on. There's a worldwide phenomenon around, um, you know, what what these books have been adapted into film and how she enjoyed the Rings of Power. And it was just a really uh, good conversation. But, you know, he was telling her, he's like, you know, you're absolutely, you know, glad you're enjoying this and don't worry, we're bringing you guys more stuff. And, you know, with The Hunts for Gollum, we're going back to Middle Earth and we're, we're, we're really seeking to, to, to go back to some of the things that um, we've seen beforehand, you know, that, that people really love and trying to, you know, just build upon the mythology and the lore and, um, additionally, was talking about the War for Rohim, the uh, anime film, and how he actually said he's seen the film already, and he's like, it's absolute. He was just raving about how really cool it is. So, uh, makes me wonder does he, does he have a voice credit in that film? No idea, but just interesting that he said he's seen it already. I know, uh, I think Peter Jackson's producing it. We talked about it on our last episode of the podcast. Um, yeah, that's just some quick glance um, overview of, of, of the convention for a Saturday. Just had a lot of fun out there. Great hanging out. Shout out to Tampa Bay Combo Convention once again for hosting us. Really encourage people, if you are trying to go out and, you're, and it's a convention, that maybe it's your first time going to a Comic Con. It's not a bad one to go to because, um, you know, it, it's it's not overwhelming. I'm not saying that it's bad. The bigger ones are overwhelming. But um, I think as it continues to grow, it's it's something that's just really just fun to just experience and and truly have a, a up close and personal a fandom encounter with some of the um, talent that you've enjoyed and the content you've enjoyed and 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 being able to um, you know just just shop in a, in a not a hectic show floor. The show floor is really nice laid out to get around. Just a lot of good things I can say about it. But yeah, that will do it for me. Look forward to being hopefully again next year. Thank you all so much for being with us, and we'll see you guys next time.